Greetings, comrades! The Marxism conference was on again in 2018, so I thought I'd head along, because according to Twitter, I'm a supercilious, pasty-faced left-wing cockroach who leads a privileged life courtesy of your taxes. Thanks, Supreme Leader Guthrie! <sighs> Thanks, capitalism. The folks at this conference really believe that we need a Marxist revolution, so I'm interested to find out what that revolution might actually look like. Plus, because this is my key demographic, I want to find out if these dirty commies are actually watching my TV show. Because nobody else is, baby! Do you watch Tonightly with Tom Ballard? I've seen clippets on Facebook. Thoughts? Hit and miss. Ooh, What's the nightly? It? Well, it's my show, yeah. and it's very funny, and it's promoting the cultural Marxist agenda. Do you watch Nightly with Tom Ballard? I do, yeah. You do? Do I you do. think it's a Marxist program? Uh, close to it. I Ooh! Yeah. Well, it's good to know we're cutting through. I also sat down with some of the commie speakers at the conference, Indigenous activist Gavin Stanbrook, radio commentator and writer Helen Razor, and from the US, founding editor of Jacobin magazine, Bhaskar Sankara. Capital. Nice. Karl Marx. Yep. Fucking nightmare. <laughs> have you read that? No. I have read Capital. The whole thing? You don't really have to read the whole thing. There's Thank chapters in there God. that are is that, is that all three volumes? I don't fucking know. I'm not going to read this. Give me the one-liner on Marx, though. What's the deal? Capitalism is in crisis. We only have to look at what's going on around the world. Spain, the United States, Trump. These situations aren't an anomaly. They exist because capitalism reproduces the inequalities that exist in our society and Marxism is the guide to change. In the effort of uh, the revolution, mm. you've uh, written a book called uh, uh, a Total Propaganda, Basic Marxist Brainwashing for the Angry and the Young. Yeah, it's peculiar because it actually ended up being profitable. Capitalism, um, you're welcome. In the book you write, uh, Western people of the millennial age range are the first generation in several to be worse off in many basic ways than their parents. Yes. Not true, my parents did not have Tamagotchis. Oh, God. All right, let's break it down. How are millennials fucked? They will be worse off in that they have no job security. And that changes every decision that you make. You can't budget for the future. You don't know if your job will be there. I mean, it's simple. People have crap education, less money, no chance to get, a, you know, secure housing. People who own their own homes are healthier. And that's not just correlation, that's causation. You've got black mold in your house, you can probably use your mortgage as a piggy bank and get someone to fix it. I can't get my real estate agent to get the mold out of my house. Now you've had a Jacobin, hugely successful political magazine in the scheme of left-wing media out there. You got like over 30,000 subscribers, online audience of a million people a month. You must be making some sweet dollar bills out of the socialism shit, yeah? Yeah, actually not bad. You know, I, 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 I earn $45,000 $45, a year. It's enough to uh, have a one bedroom apartment in Brooklyn. Now you're an indigenous activist. I saw you at the Invasion Day rally in January. Yeah. I was there. You're welcome. Good one. Um, name me one way in which indigenous people have been victim to capitalism. Well, I mean, the question of land. The question of land rights. Yeah, you think good. about it like, yeah. you know, the, the whole process of colonization in this country led to the mass genocide and theft of Aboriginal land. The reason that was yeah, done. But apart from that. Apart from the mass genocide and the theft of the land. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, there's another one is just mass imprisonment, mass incarceration rates. Okay. Yeah, apart from that. Apart from that? Yeah. Well, I mean, just generally, you only have to look at the fact that, you know, Aboriginal people today are, are likely to uh, die 10 years earlier than their not Indigenous counterparts. Apart from that. Apart from that. That's a pretty good run. Yeah, thanks, mate. Do you think America could become a socialist society in your lifetime? I think within my lifetime, you could imagine like a left populist like Bernie Sanders getting elected. He'll yes. be 78. He'll be 78, but you know, it's not that people are living longer and longer. He's putting out <laughs> these, um, these videos of him like playing basketball. He's like banking it. I used to be a little bit better. Oh, you got your rebound. Yeah. All right. So I can imagine like an and one like basketball mixtape of Bernie Sanders set to some hip hop music. You know, we released that in 2019 and by 2020, you know, the kids will, will think he's, he's young and hip. Do you believe it's possible for a Marxist revolution to take place in Australia? We overthrow capitalism and we establish a socialist paradise. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. How is the revolution actually going to happen? Marx does not go into great detail yeah. about... In all fucking this, no guide to a revolution. <laughs> it's going to take mass action. And yeah. what that mass action looks like... That's not going to happen. That's definitely going to happen. Yeah. 
The Socialist Alternative says a successful revolution will involve workers taking control of their workplaces, dismantling existing state institutions, parliaments, courts, the armed forces and police, and replacing them with an entirely new state based on genuinely democratic control by the working class. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. How does it all work? How does it, like, if someone steals my shit? Or oh, I don't have any shit, do I? I have no private property to own for someone to steal. Well, you know, no one's going to come up and take your toothbrush out of your mouth. Why it's not? Like, why would we want to? It's your toothbrush. You just put all germs on it. Like, keep it to yourself. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to run through some things. You tell me whether or not we'll still have them post-revolution. Okay. Okay? Uber. No. The ABC. Uh, no. Sorry. Facebook? Facebook? Some form of social media, I'm sure. Well, it won't be like, it won't be run by Mark Zuckerberg, let's put it that way. Okay. And it won't be snooped on. What's going to happen to him? I don't know. <laughs> Ask the comrades in the United States. Oh boy. Facebook? Uh, yeah, probably a state owned <laughs> company, probably not. <laughs> state book. Netflix? Yeah, but it's free and it's better. It has more stuff on it. Not like the Australian Netflix. <laughs> Slammed. Sunrise? Uh, definitely not. No. Sex toys? Sex toys that I've used, do I have to share them with everyone else? <laughs> no. Um, no, that's fine. That's I can keep those? Yeah, you can keep those. Yes! <laughs> Day one of the revolution, what happens? Is it like, is it setting fire to something? Do we yeah. put people's heads on spikes? No, that's not day one. Okay. <laughs> that's not day one. You can be very glad that it's not going to be violent, but it's going to be crazy. Well, that's what I'm worried about. I've done quite well. I'm worried what's going to happen to me in the revolution. Oh, you will still be treated like a god. Oh, thank god. In a certain way, if you're a capitalist, right now you're not truly as powerful as you think you are. Because you're subject to the whims of the market. You know, well, actually, this is a taxpayer-funded um, organization. That's where all my money Yeah, yeah so from. this is one of the, one of the uh, benign legacies of, of, uh, of socialism. Well, I guess the Marxist revolution is just around the corner and capitalism is going to end and everything. But in the meantime, let's make some money, bitch! Marxism! Get your Marxism! Hot, fresh Marxism, people. Now, all this is made by slave labor, exploited by capitalism. Yeah. So, and that's how we can keep prices so low. <laughs> stop, 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 and do it. it. Don't be a mug. Anyway, look at this little mini Marxist. It's like a bottle and Yeah. Like, that's nice. It's for the kids. Got to get them in young. All right. You're interested in buying something? What can I? What can I do for? I really love to manifest your dreams. Manifest your dreams. Fantastic. That is just uh, just forty bucks. The low, low price of just forty dollars for that one. So, oh, thank you so much. That's fantastic. Thank you. Yes, the system works, baby. Mm -hmm.